Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Martin was a really a standout goaltender from the time he was very, very young. He was always very supportive and was always sort of there with words of encouragement. That's all you know, anybody needs is somebody in their life who believes in them. I think Mark was that individual in Martin's life. On the shore of the Burrard Inlet, under the distinctive backdrop of the North Shore Mountains, you'll find North Vancouver, where Philadelphia Flyers goaltender Martin Jones began his hockey journey at the North Shore Winter Club. We always had great teams there. We were always competitive going out of provincials and things like that. A lot of great memories with all my hockey buddies just kind of, uh, you know, messing around at the club and, and having fun as a kid. The Winter Club had a pretty elite hockey program. In fact, in the five years that they played, they didn't lose one game on home ice and they lost four games of regular season and playoff games in total over those five years. So it was a pretty remarkable group of kids. Among that group of kids was Martin's goaltending partner, Dylan Crawford. At the time, his father, Mark, was the head coach of the Vancouver Canucks and developed a special bond with the Jones family. Dylan was a great kid. We had a lot of great times together and having Mark around was, was pretty special as a kid. They were good friends. Uh, you know, uh, Martin was a really a standout uh, goaltender from the time he was very, very young. In 2005, Martin was selected by the Western Hockey League's Calgary Hitmen. But early on, he found himself on the outside looking in. When he went to Calgary, he wasn't going to be the guy. And uh, I mean, that's what kind of led to the situation where, you know, for two years, he was the backup. You go to camp as, as a 16-year-old, and, and I was fortunate enough to make the team. And you just got to put in the time. It's the same as anything else. As you earn the coach's trust and your teammates' trust, you get more ice time. He had to wait his turn in major junior hockey, but as he ended his junior career, he was on the Canadian uh, World Junior team. So, you know, that means you're one of the top two goalies in Canada. When the 2008 NHL draft wrapped up, Martin didn't hear his name called. But that's where an old friend from the North Shore helped to make a dream become reality. I was surprised he didn't go, and I was telling everybody uh, that I knew that you know, if they needed a goalie, uh, that they should get him. And I'd spoken his praises to Ron Hextall and the Los Angeles Kings while I was there that year. It's you know obviously nice to hear when you have had an impact on someone and they're willing to, to do something like that. Um, that's not something I heard till well after the fact, so you never know who's watching and, and who's gonna, um, you know, have someone's ear that that's that can help you get to that next level. He was invited to the LA camp and went to the camp, and we thought, wow, this is you know, this is pretty exciting. His agent finally called and said that uh, LA was interested in signing him to a contract, so that was pretty surprising. To Foley, shoots, great save, rebound, they score. The Los Angeles Kings have won the Stanley. I just remember the feeling of uh, watching that overtime. It was a pretty special moment, the one that I'll never forget, and, and then um, obviously lifting the cup and, and all the things that go with that. I've known him since he was just a little guy, and you know, to see him reach the you know the pinnacle was amazing. I always loved playing hockey, and uh, you know, especially my years at the Winter Club. Um, you know, the more and more I played, uh, you know, the more and more I didn't even really think about anything else. It was always hockey. Thinking back about my time at the North Shore Winter Club as a young kid and, you know, just wanting to sort of give back to a place that really helped shape my, my hockey career. It was nice to be able to do that. That was a great event to, you know, return a little something here to the Winter Club that did so much for Martin's career. And then we took it home to our house and we had a party for family and friends. It was a fantastic day. It's been an interesting ride for Jones. I mean, remember 2016, he was an absolute star. Martin Jones, now a member of the Philadelphia Flyers, and he's the only goaltender to ever take the Sharks to the Stanley Cup Final. A lot of teams would like to have that 08 draft to do over again so as to have a chance to call his name. He's really showed a tremendous battle level to get there first and foremost, uh, to become a premier goaltender. If you have an improvement mindset, uh, you're always going to do well, not only in, in our sport of hockey, but in anything in life. And I think Martin has those attributes. He proved everybody wrong. He's 32 years old now. I mean, he's still playing in the National Hockey League. He's won a Stanley Cup. He's been an NHL All-Star. Pretty remarkable for somebody who wasn't even drafted in the NHL. 
anybody that plays at this level in the NHL has a, a real sense of belief in themselves and that's something I think I've always had and I think that's just part of who I am.